get to that. Obviously, breaking news, um, and I'm very interested in your thoughts and theories on this. Uh, Russia is claiming there was an assassination attempt mm -hmm. via drone. They're saying Ukraine. Shockingly, and normally the Ukraine doesn't comment one way or the other on these things. They are saying uh, fundamentally and absolutely that it was not them. And they're um, calling it a terrorist attack. Yes. Um, they. So really, it seems to me there, there are only a couple of scenarios here. Disgruntled Russian people with access to droids, dro droids, drones. Droids. <laughs> uh, the Ru Russia, some people are saying perhaps Russia just did this to galvanize the people because the war is going so badly. Or Ukraine's lying. Um, I might be missing a scenario here, but what is your thoughts on all of this? Well, first of all, I always believe anything Putin says or his, <laughs> or his crony. So okay. if they say, it, it. by God, it must be true. Look, he's full of shit. And the, and the Russian, you know, uh, they're, 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 they're just so full of shit. So the, the highly, you know, plausible scenario here is that, and they because they've done it before, is that they've they've manufactured this um, as for a couple of reasons, both to try to gin up some support at home, right. shore up what you know what is getting shaky at home in terms of support for this. Because look at the number of people, the Russian soldiers who have died so far. It's it's pretty astounding, and then also. It, it, they've done this in the past where they've created their own uh, crisis, right? Uh, claimed that it was an attack on the Russian, you know, motherland and all that Russia stands for from yeah. Putin's perspective, which is not the same thing that the, the general population necessarily stands for. And uh, then they use that as an excuse for uh, launching uh, whatever it is they're going to do. I mean, oh, just uh, read the case studies from Chechnya. Um, so I think that uh, it is highly likely that this is something. I mean, they're just again. You, you can't. You 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 can't um, discount enough anything that comes out of either Putin's mouth or his spokespeople. Um, so I'm I'm not buying any of that crap that they're saying. You know, it's you know we've got an executive order uh, one two three 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 that was signed years and years ago uh, that absolutely prohibits the uh, targeting of any foreign leader. Unfortunately. And for what good reason, right? I mean, you got to maintain some some decorum, right? I mean, obviously, people are going to say, well, you guys are always up to shenanigans. But you got there's got to be a baseline of of global behavior, right? And so 12333, three, three, you know, uh, ensures. And, and so when, when Putin says, oh, the U.S. gave him targeting information for the Kremlin to, to target Putin, Putin doesn't live in the Kremlin, by the way. Um, so that is, it, you're absolutely right. And also, um, I was, I, I was looking at the footage that, uh, Bobby had found cause I can see it on this camera and just looking at, cause I haven't seen it already. It's, it looks a little too perfect. You know, it's yeah. enough to show the Russian people how close they got. Doesn't seem like it affected anything. And it, it looks very much, uh, maybe that's where they, they hired the writers that are striking right now because it's a little Hollywood perfect. How close yeah. it was to actually hitting something, but not well, really doing it. And any I also think it's interesting, Zelensky's spokesperson saying, the, uh, the phrasing by the terrorist state is surprising. A terrorist attack is houses destroyed in two cities I can't mention. Uh, I, I'm sorry, I can't pronounce. Um, or a rocket attack on a railway station in Kramatorsk and many other tragedies, which is so true. It's like, yeah, oh, it's yeah. just a terrorist attack when it's on us, but when we do it to you, it's not. Yeah, no, I it's, it. they're, they're, again, I, you know, Putin regime is, is, at this stage of the game, is just full of shit. Putin's, I don't want to say he's grasping at straws because they've still got a lot of resource that he apparently is willing to throw at this, uh, you know, tragic adventurism of his. But yeah, I mean, you look at the video and, and you're right, it, it all seems a little bit staged. And frankly, I've fired off bigger shit during Fourth of July celebrations than that. <laughs> um, God, will you please invite us this year? Yeah, actually, that sounds like a blast. Of all the holidays, I would love to be at your house for Fourth of July. I feel like that would truly be a blast. Yeah, we usually go up to the lake, up in the mountains, um, and then fire all this stuff off of, of a very a very good friend's uh, pier. Uh, doc, um, and uh, a couple seasons ago, I mean, okay, fair enough. We almost, almost took down his house, but um, <laughs> we were we were using these mortars, and I, I I had the bright idea of fusing some of them together, 
and uh, timing it so we'd, we'd fire off a bunch of them all at the same time, and, and that went famously wrong. Uh, how, how wrong? Yeah. There was, uh, there was a fire department involved, um, and and uh, so it was. It was. It. Was, but but you know what? We, you're not we allowed there learned, anymore, are you? Learned our lesson in, the, the, in the county we district. You're not allowed there. Yeah, yeah. That's why we can't come on the fourth. <laughs> <laughs> are you? Do you have an ankle bracelet on right now? <laughs> I've always noticed yeah. it's the same couple of rooms with you. I don't think you're yeah, allowed. Yeah, but it's but it's you know what? It's a charm bracelet. It's not. It's not a yes. tracking device. Oh, of course, so. that's what I was asking. Quite fashionable. Yeah. Every country I went to in the agency, we'd get a different charm and we'd put it on our bracelet. <laughs> it's like a charm. It's like a friend bracelet. Yeah. I love it. Um, well, and then we've also, you, I think you've got all the, 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 the meat potato ones over there. Oh, well, you don't just want to get to the good one? Might as well. Mm. All right. And by the way, oh, I love all of it. All of it. Oh, Baker, I know how much you love Gwyneth Paltrow, so and this is for That's you. True. That is true. Um. The 50-year-old actress, thank you, U.S. U.S. Magazine. Do you hear me? <laughs> U.S. Mag. Oh, that is that has got to be. Is that run by the agency? Very patriotic sounding. Oh, that's why. That's why we got it for Baker. Yeah. Thank you, us. Did us you subscribe to, uh, to people. How do you pronounce what do you do? pronounce? Time Magazine. To me. Did you, you subscribe to it? people because you thought it was poopal? You guys, I am so <laughs> hungry. I am like losing it right now. Um, us Magazine tells us the 50-year-old actress was recently on the Call Her Daddy podcast. And um, host Alex Cooper was raising the stakes of, of, of a kind of fun game you usually play about exes, the who, which this or that. Uh, it was a game of Brad or Ben. Oh, boy. So she was asking Gwyneth Paltrow some pretty good questions. I was surprised. Like, for example, who's better in bed? That's and <laughs> Baker, I know you have written blog posts wondering who is better, Brad Pitt or Ben yeah. Affleck. Yeah. Well, here's when it's. About, I talk about it in my book, Company Rules. Yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> Some say too much. I mean, really, no, every chapter no, no, no. kind of went back to that. <laughs> Gwyneth resp uh, responded, this is really hard because Brad was like the sort of major chemistry, love of your life kind of at the time. And Ben was well, like, this, get this, way, Ben Affleck was, quote, technically excellent. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> he knows all the all the mechanics, I guess, the buttons, the uh, okay. lever, the levy, lev anyway. Uh, she <laughs> says, AI. she says, I can't believe my daughter Apple is listening to this. Am I blushing? Well, she also noted that Affleck was more likely to make her laugh, but was also the partner she was more likely to get into an argument with. She was also asked who was the better actor. And, and she answered, they're both so talented. But she said, I feel like Ben is a great writer and director, but I'd have to probably say that acting along Brad, Brad Pitt was mm. better. Um, she then was asked to play a game of, and I'm sure you guys played this in the agency all the time, fuck, marry, kill, uh, oh, yeah. between... Uh, yeah. There's one of those that I don't think they played. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We literally played it. Yeah. Yeah. Between Ben Affleck, Brad Pitt, and her ex-husband, Chris Martin, she said she would obviously marry Chris Martin because he gave me my two children who are the loves of my life, so I would do that all again. Uh, she, uh... Those are great questions. <laughs> After Cooper explained that kill was more like putting someone to the wayside, Paltrow then said she would um, fuck Brad Pitt and then said, Ben, yeah, God bless him. So, <laughs> interesting. Um, she did, though, in uh, previously, she uh, wrote online that when Jennifer Lopez married Brad Pitt in 2022, she said, love, so romantic, very happy for them. Uh, so are you surprised by the results of the game? Anything shocking to you, Baker? Uh, not really. I mean, Gwyneth and I have played that game a few times. <laughs> and uh, she's always got the same answer. She's a bit, you know, consistent, to be fair, which I don't think is all that exciting. <laughs> yeah. Uh, look, I mean, I think, first of all, I, I find it fascinating that Joe thinks that there's levers involved <laughs> in the process. <laughs> Well, I, I don't ever. think she's human. I've always uh, maintained this. I know. I know. Um, so, so, There's uh, a pulley anyway, system and everything. Yeah, if you're, uh, if you're described as technically excellent, it probably means that what, what she really meant was 
he's like fundamentally sound. That's the uh, thing. Is it like boring? going? Is it like? Is that another yeah. way of saying going through the motions? I was yeah, very I confused that, by I, that I, phrasing. I would assume that's what it is. Yeah. That that's what which he's truly implying. is kind of a polite way to answer. I would mm. say without really hurting someone's feelings Seri or yeah. disparaging yeah. them. Yeah, but I mean to be fair, I mean everybody everybody wants to be technically excellent. I just think that it, it is a it is a, a way of 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 maybe you know dissing them a little bit. Uh, particularly given her later answer. No with kidding. The fuck, Mary, kill thing. So, um, but I mean, everybody should be technically excellent. Don't put that aside, you know, and you don't want to be, you know, you don't want to be rote and, uh, and, and predictable. Uh, look yeah. at me, I'm giving sex advice now on. I on, love it. This <laughs> is why, show. this is why I was like, we got it. We got it. Baker. But yeah. Baker, what really our audience wants to know between Brad Pitt, Ben Affleck and Chris Martin, what's your fuck, Mary, kill? <laughs> <laughs> you know, but I was given my option, of, uh, and I had to—I had to make a decision. I would kill myself. Uh, <laughs> that wasn't an option. So, no, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta draw a line in the sand here somewhere. Yeah, and, I would uh, marry Ben Affleck. Yeah, I no, think that I, he is—I think he's um, the, because of his directing, and he just seems to me like he's the—he the, would be the most interesting to hang out with. And, think Kill, so? and Chris Martin, think I've heard so. his I don't know. Coldplay. I think, I mean, hey, Chris Martin's a, 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 you know, I know people diss on Coldplay now like they used used to with Nickelback, but yeah. he is a, he's a great musician. Uh, I think yeah. he'd be, you know, hugely entertaining to, to hang out with and drink a beer. But honestly, Brad Pitt, um, only because he was in Mr. and Mrs. Smith. And, um, oh, yeah. You know, all right. So uh, I wouldn't, I'm not saying I'd want to hang, I mean, I, I, it's not a, you know, it's not that sort of relationship, but to have a beer or two. Um, <laughs> but no. then see where it goes from there. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know if you guys have ever seen, uh, I think there was an article done once about Brad Pitt and his girlfriends and how every relationship he's in, yes. his hair matches the woman he's with. And I Ooh. really saw this again when I was looking at U.S. Magazine. And... <laughs> They were showing pictures of Brad Pitt and Gwyneth Paltrow during during their time together, and their hair matched. Yeah. Exactly. It yeah. was so strange. Well, and he started getting a lot of tattoos when he was dating uh, uh, Angelina, Angelina Jolie because she uh, had them. Uh, it's very. There's no. There might not be any there there. And it kind there. of makes you wonder how he is in a relationship because it seems like he just kind of defers to the woman in yeah. each case. Yeah, that's it is that's an interesting point. Maybe he was doing it for preparing for roles or something, who knows. But but you're yeah. right. Yeah. Some of the, some of the style choices are are a little sketchy. Um but uh yeah, didn't uh, didn't Angelina Jolie and Billy Bob Thornton weren't they I, they, I don't think they, they matched each other with hairdos, but weren't they doing so? They were wearing each other's blood or something in a locket? Yeah. Absolutely that confirmed. Was, I actually interviewed Billy Bob Thornton and asked him that very question about his little necklace. And yeah. uh, he sort cer certainly downplayed it, but absolutely admitted it. They each had their own vial of blood in a respective necklace that they wore around each other's well, necks. You know, they really paved the way for Machine Gun Kelly and Megan Fox, who are essentially <laughs> doing the same yeah. thing. That it was vampire chic way back in the day. Yeah. Well, Joe, what about yourself? Chris Martin, by, uh, Ben Affleck, or Brad Pitt? Okay, I have thought about this. Okay. okay. I like technical proficiency, so I think I would <laughs> sleep with Ben Affleck. Interesting. I think I would marry Brad Pitt because I think he's an incredible actor, and I want tips. And I would kill Chris Martin because I don't like I. I I don't like Brits. I knew you were gonna say that. Or blonde. He's kind of blonde, right? Yeah. And I'm not a huge fan of his music. So I'm sorry. There was a glitch. Or, there was a glitch. Did you say you don't you don't like Brits? Was that what I heard you say? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Out of all of these years, I'm su I'm surprised that your huh. half limey ass has not heard this it's already. It's just very un-American. And <laughs> hold on, hold on, just a second. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hope it's something Union Jackie. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, nice. I received, I received in the uh, in the post just uh, a couple days ago my coronation mugs. Wow. Uh, for the upcoming coronation. Yes. Wait. So, do you, Do you have plans for the coronation? Are you having family over? What are you doing? I do. No, I'm actually going to be there. Uh, oh. Seated in in, uh, in in a in a box. Um, I. Uh, 
I've gotten uh, we, we we struggled with what to get him. Uh, yeah, but we ended up is with this a for real? Nice toaster. Yeah, so we thought a toaster would be nice. So we're going to uh, we'll present that during part of it's actually part of the ceremony. Yeah. Um, where he receives the crown and and the and the, the uh, scepter, and then we'll give him a four slice toaster, and it's all it's pretty much that's it. That new king. You two are having fun with my gullibility here, but by the way, mental notes: these are all things to be putting in a script that an AI would never Wait, come up with. Wait, I have a really offensive joke. Do you think Prince William <laughs> gives him a bathtub? Wait, I don't even know what that's a reference for. A toaster and a bathtub, oh, Prince God. William. Oh, <laughs> not bad. Prince William wants the wants the crown. Um, Did you, that, was that written by the chat GPT, <laughs> that joke? Or? I, what? <laughs> U.S. Weekly. Ba -da -ba -ba. <laughs> uh, uh, where's yes, my lever? toaster. Find the lever. <laughs> Uh, well, and also, okay. like, I'm sure it goes it goes without saying, Baker, that I don't think that she had these fe negative feelings about dating Brits until she dated one, mm -hmm. and it didn't go so well. Yeah. So there yeah. is always a backstory. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't gonna bring I wasn't gonna bring up that that piece of history, but uh, we've, yeah. we've, we've, I, I, I've brought it up many times. Um, yes, but uh, it's uh, that that you'll notice she'll flinch every time she hears the accent. Baker, thank you so much for entertaining our uh, our little idea uh, here. We're the worst. And playing our game. We are the absolute yeah. worst. Uh, I think we should do I, I think we should do fuck Mary Kill every week. Uh, I so you agree. said it. You said it. You I get it. I so agree. Uh,